Hello. I want to thank you for choosing an Acorn Starlift. You can be assured that your Starlift will provide safe and reliable service that will allow you to enjoy the full use of your home for many years to come. This video is designed to provide a leisurely review of the safe and proper operation of the Acorn Starlift. So I would like to invite you to sit back, get comfortable, and enjoy this demonstration. Stirlift operation. When using your stirlift, follow these steps. Lower the footrest. Lower the seat and arms. When getting on the stirlift, at the top of the stairs, hold down one of the swivel paddles and swivel the seat until it locks into a position where the seat is facing away from the steps. Sit in the seat and fasten the seatbelt. Swivel the seat until locked in the operating position. At the bottom of the stairs, there is no need to swivel the seat as long as the seat is locked into the operating position. The arms are fitted with safety interlocks and must be completely down for the stairlift to operate. Press the direction controller in the direction of travel. There will be an audible beep to signal that a command has been received. After a short delay, the stair lift will begin to move, slowly at first, until it reaches full speed. Keep the controller pressed down continually throughout the journey. The stair lift will slow down around certain bends for your safety and comfort. The stair lift will automatically slow down and stop when it reaches the end of its travel. To swivel the seat, hold down one of the seat paddles and rotate the seat. Release the paddle and keep rotating until it locks into position, partly or fully around. It is now safe to undo the seat belt and leave the stair lift. You may at this point swivel the seat back into its locked position and fold the footrest, arms and seat up. parking and recharging. When not in use, it is vital that the stair lift is left on a charge point. The location of this can depend on the configuration that was installed in your home. On a standard track, the correct positions are at the top or bottom where the unit stops automatically. At these positions, the unit receives a power supply that allows the unit to recharge its internal batteries. The stair lift will make a single beep to indicate that a charge point has been reached. If there is an electrical supply failure, or if the supply to your stair lift is switched off, it will continue to work for several journeys. However, the batteries will eventually lose their charge and the stair lift will not operate. Remote controls. The unit may also be operated with the remote control handset. There are two buttons on the handset up and down. To send the unit up, press and continue to hold the up button. To send it down, press and continue to hold the down button. The unit will automatically stop at the end of the track or if the button is released. For user safety, the paddle control will always override the remote control handset. Battery isolation switch. The battery isolation switch can be found under the seat to the left of the key. The switch should remain on at all times. Failing to do so will result in the batteries losing their charge and will not be covered under the warranty terms and conditions. Key switch. You will find the key switch on the front carriage cover. For the unit to operate, the key must be inserted and turned to the right or clockwise position. When the key is turned to the left or withdrawn, the stir lift will not run. The key can be removed to prevent any unauthorized use of the stair lift. This will not affect the charging of the batteries. Paddle control. There is a paddle control located on the end of each armrest. To operate the unit, the paddle must be pressed and held in the direction of travel. There will be an audible beep to signal that a command has been received and a momentary delay before the stair lift will operate. 
The unit will only operate while the pedal is being pressed and will automatically stop when the unit reaches the end of the track or the pedal is released. Both armrests must be fully down in order for the stair lift to operate. You must maintain continuous positive pressure throughout the trip. Manual Swivel Seat When the unit reaches the upper end of the track, it will stop automatically. The seat must now be turned to make getting on and off the stair lift safe. To turn the seat, depress and hold down the seat swivel lever at the side of the seat pad. This will then allow the seat to be rotated to face the staircase landing. The seat will lock in position at 45 degrees and 88 degrees. Make sure the seat is locked into position before getting on or off the stair lift. The footrest does not swivel and the seat only swivels at the top of the staircase. Seatbelt. To fasten the seatbelt, pull out the belt and insert the clasp into the buckle. A positive click should be heard, indicating that the lock has engaged properly. To release the seatbelt, hold the belt with one hand and press the release button on the buckle. The clasp will automatically release and allow the belt to retract. The seatbelt must be worn at all times when using the stair lift. Folding seat and footrest. The seat, arms, and footrest can be folded up when not in use to allow greater access on the stairway, efficiently using the space in your hallway. While folded, the stair lift can still be operated using a remote control handset. E6. Unlike the panel switch, the remote handset will operate the stair lift while in the folded position. However, it will not work if the seat has been turned away from the normal riding position. This will be indicated by an E6 on the display panel. Safety edges. Before operating your stair lift, ensure that there are no obstructions on the staircase. The stair lift is fitted with five safety edges. Each side of the carriage, each side of the footrest and under the footrest. If these encounter any obstruction, the stair lift will stop immediately. Move the stair lift back in the opposite direction and remove the obstruction. Interrupted travel. If travel on your stair lift is interrupted, take the following sequential steps. Make sure both armrests are completely down. Try traveling in the opposite direction. Try to continue in the original direction. Call out for help to someone in the home. If no one is home and you have a cell phone on hand, call for help. If none of these options are available, follow the emergency dismount instructions. Emergency dismount. If you must disembark mid-travel for any reason, Turn the seat, depressing the seat swivel lever, allowing the seat to face the staircase. Release the paddle and lock the seat in place for a safe exit. If the stair lift fails to operate, please remain calm and alert others before attempting to disembark the stair lift. This concludes the demonstration video for your Acorn stair lift. If you have additional questions, please contact our customer service team at 888-563-0410. Thank you.